But with Vanessa da Silva, he's just managed her Sri Lankan team to victory against Bangladesh and starting to have an outside chance of qualifying for the final against India on Sunday in this second ACC Women's Asia Cup. Now, Vanessa, what do you have behind you? Oh, this is play of the match. Oh, it's not yours? No, it's not mine. Oh, really? But you must have won a few in your time. Of course, yes. Uh, during my era, I played only 13 games um, in three years that I played. Won a couple of them, I must say. But um, I guess uh, I gave up too early. And uh, I know things moved on from there on, but because we missed cricket at that time, it was um, not taken over by Sri Lanka cricket. It was handled by the association. So a lot of girls. Um, more concentrated on their jobs and you know move forward their own. Okay, so your time wasn't too long ago, but um, apart from the administration change from Sri Lanka SLC taking over the Association of Cricket uh, running things at the women's game in Sri Lanka, what have been the big changes that you've noticed from uh, your playing days to the days of Chimari Atapatus? Actually, um, well, compared to the playing days, we facilities that we got and the facilities now the players have uh, way way beyond uh, expectations and now um, and uh, I think most of the players who played during our era they played only for a couple of years and they gave up but now uh, Chamari, Shashikala, players like that they have come and they have been in the system for long and I think um, Sri Lanka cricket is doing a lot they are investing a lot in women's cricket and you know um, the facilities which are given, uh, you can't uh, underestimate. It's, it's more than what we got at that time. Is that because you were amateur cricketers back then? Well, not amateur cricketers, but it was run by the Women's Cricket Association at that time. And then ICC came in and said, look, if you're a test playing country, it has to be taken run by the home board. And in 2006, uh, that all changed, and then um, Sri Lanka Cricket took over the team. And from there onwards, uh, I think we have, we have, there are ups and downs, we have come, we have played well. But however, there's no consistency uh, in, in the winning trends. But I think they'll move on and they are learning still because now it's a young bunch that is playing. I think they'll uh, come around and play well in the next couple of years. So at the moment, Sri Lanka actually have a decent track record. They're an ODI, women's ODI team. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, they've, done, they've done well in this tournament. Uh, one three, could have beaten, beaten Pakistan as well. Um, would have really made them secure for a place in the final. You know, they're a decent team. They've got some, as you say, star players. Shashkala's injured, Chamari's great player. They've got some... Delani, 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 exactly. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, decent players. So, looking ahead to um, what's going to be a tournament you host in Sri Lanka, the ICC Women's World Cup qualifier, what are your chances in that? Actually, um, the qualifiers, uh, I think we have a pretty good chance to come into the finals. Uh, we have, since we're hosting it and we have the home advantage as well. Well, um, but again, like I say, you know, you have to have consistency, you have to bat well, adapt to the game well, and um, the batters need to improve their skill a little bit, and the fielding has to also be polished a bit. And um, I think we'll get there. We will uh, get into the top four, because the top four will go for the World Cup. And um, pretty decent group that we have in the qualifiers, so I think uh, the girls are very positive now, and they're playing good cricket. It's just that we need to, you know, uh, like I said, just develop and brush up our skills a little bit. I think we are a decent team. Now tell me exactly what goes on in a manager's uh, job for the team. I've seen you, we all see the managers, well, they're quite like mothers of the team, taking care of every detail. The other night you were checking on the players' late night um, curfews when they came back in time. Um, so, but obviously there's more to the job than uh, just just um, taking care of the players uh, of course time you know uh, yeah, it's not about only the timetables the mental side of it preparation side see that they eat drink well and you know mentally they need to be prepared well see that the rest and recovery is given to all the players and the logistics administration part is all a part of the manager's role and also the curfews also is part of the manager's role to see that they stick to deadlines and you know they're not babies well they are very professional cricketers they should know to, you know, play like professionals. And if not babies, um, this team here look a bit older than some of the other teams we've seen in the tournament. Is that because they would have a uh, history of cricket uh, behind them before they get to the national team? Actually, yeah, in, 
Sri Lanka cricket um, at the grassroots level, we start a bit late. You know, the ladies start around 16, 17, 18. Uh, we have a good domestic structure, but uh, the thing is, where ladies cricket is concerned, we start a bit late. But now, since Sri Lanka cricket has taken over, these three years we have worked on the domestic structure well, and even at the grassroots levels, uh, we have school tournaments running, and uh, and we are pumping a lot of money into women's cricket and into the domestic and into the school structure. So it will take some time. We won't have results overnight. But I think in the next couple of years to come, you will see a lot of youngsters coming into the team.